Hi everyone, this is Gian and welcome to my channel. I know it's been a while since I last posted a product review video here in my channel. It's just been a very busy month for me, but I'm so back with a vengeance. <laughs> for today's vlog, I prepared something special because I'd be reviewing not just one, but two menstrual cups for you and I'm very excited to share this. So if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, 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 subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to keep you updated whenever I upload a new video here. And if you're already subscribed, thank you for your support. You can also follow me on my socials. I hope that you guys will find this video helpful, educational, and interesting. And without further ado, let me share with you my review on Intimina Lily Cup Classic and Intimina Lily Cup Compact. I got these cups back in July when Intimina Philippines official store in Shopee offered a crazy sale <laughs> where they actually dropped the price to 50% off. Yes, 50% off. They're selling this for like 1,600 pesos each. And since you know 50% off, so I got them for only 800 each. I'm so glad that I was able to score at least two cups. I was actually planning to purchase the Ziggy cup as well, yung menstrual disc nila. But yun, ang bilis na ubos, kaya ito lang yung nakuha ko. So, let me share with you first about the specifications of these cups. And then later on, I'll be sharing with you my experience. And, uh, you know, final thoughts about these cups. Please stay tuned. Now let me show you a close look of Intimina Lily Cup Classic and Lily Cup Compact. First off is the packaging. As you can see, it looks very neat and well made. The model of the menstrual cup is indicated and you can actually see it from here. And trademark talaga nila yung color na to. So there is a brief description on how to use the cup and their size guide. And brief product description at the back. On the flip side, it's actually the same, pero ibang language lang siya. This is the user instruction na included sa box ng Intimina cups. It's written in different languages, and it's a little overwhelming sa tingin pa lang. I think this is something that they can work on for improvement. So, if you're a first-timer and you want to know about the cup, how to use it, proper care for it, how to insert and remove the cup, well, this might not be the best user instruction. So, it would be best na iskan mo na lang yung QR code and then check it from the internet. Every menstrual cup meron siyang kasamang breathable pouch. This is uh, for the Lily Cup Classic. While the Lily Cup Compact is ito namang case na to. Kasi collapsible yung menstrual cup. I really like the fabric, the material that was used for this breathable pouch. And ito namang case for the Lily Cup Compact. It's pocket size. Meron siyang mga holes para at least nakakapasok pa rin ng hangin. It is important kasi na breathable yung storage mo for your menstrual cup to avoid bacteria build up. And make sure that before you store your cup, after using it on your cycle, make sure na air dry talaga siya. Or walang kahit anong moisture para ma-avoid yung bacteria build up on your cup. So this is the Lily Cup Classic on my left and the Lily Cup Compact on my right. And as you can see, they have the same colors. Uh, the material that was used for both cups are also the same. It's ultra soft and medical grade silicone. It's really smooth and it has a matte finish. 
both of them are in size B and uh, the design is really unique. I haven't really seen a menstrual cup from other manufacturer with the same design. So that's really very clever in Timina. Good job. So here, um, as you can see, itong Lily Cup Classic, long yung body niya. So this is ideal for women with high cervix height and uh, light to medium flow because this cup can hold up to 32 ml of blood the height of this cup is 78 millimeters from the rim to the stem and uh, the diameter of the rim is 43.5 it has an easy grip stem na pwede rin i-trim kasi soft naman itong dulo pero itong part na to itong base ay firm then it also has a no spill rim which is really good very useful kasi talagang hindi siya madaling mag spill lalo na pag na-remove ka na ng cup ito namang lily cup compact as you can see it's shorter compared to the lily cup classic but the size of the rim is pretty close the diameter of the lily cup compact is 45 millimeters and the length of the cup is 58 millimeters and this one can hold up to 25 ml of blood and uh, you'll also notice that this cup has a protruding rim tapos meron siyang very tiny hole no, it has four holes on the rim while the lily cup compact has no air holes at all so the suction of this menstrual cup, this classic, is a little strong compared to the Lily Cup Compact. So there. This one you can fold or collapse. So you can bring it with you anywhere. And there. You can be this small. Just really need to be extra careful kapag if you fold mo siya at i uh, unfold kasi there are cases na itong part na to yung madaling masira or mapunit ayan so there and now let me share with you my experience with these cups the things that i like and don't like pros and cons final thoughts and recommendation about intimina lily cup classic and intimina lily cup compact I like the material that they've used for these cups. It is made of a medical grade silicone, but from the looks of it, the feel of it, you can really tell that it is well made. Alam mong high grade yung material na ginamit sa kaniya, and it is safe to use. It is registered in FDA, so alam mo yung you will be at ease if you use it. I like the color because <laughs> I love pink. And it came with this very nice pouch for the classic and this case for the compact. The Lily Cup compact, when it's folded or collapsed, talaga namang discreet siya, no? I mean, you can bring it anywhere with you. You can keep it in your purse or your bag. And uh, even if people see it, yan, they, they can tell that it is a menstrual cup. And... My experience with these cups, uh, well, first dito sa collapsible, I was actually challenged sa pag pop open ito inside. You know? I used the punch down fold for this cup, pero I find it difficult to unfold or to pop it open inside, even if I push, kasi parang ayaw niya mag move. I find the cup really soft for me, although the rim is firm so madali siya mag-open supposedly pero for some reason talagang nahirapan ako na mag-open siya inside and then since it is collapsible if i need to reposition the cup i can't push it because the base is soft the stem has a very good grip for removal okay siya pero yung pag reposition or pag push niya inside hindi ko siya magawa kasi when i push the base of the cup ganyan na nangyayari nagpo-fold siya. So, ang hirap. But, uh, I find it easier to remove in a way na andali niya kasing i-fold na ganun. Dahil malambot siya. Kaya lang, the cup, aside from it being too soft for me, 
I also find the Lily Cup Compact too short for my cervix. As you can see, it is way too short compared with the Lily Cup Classic. And just so you know, I have a very high cervix, so this may not be the best cup for me. But in terms of comfort of wearing it, I like it because I really can feel that it's inside me and I never had any leaks with this cup. Uh, another thing that, you know, kino consider ko dito is since maliit lang yung capacity niya and I am a heavy bleeder, so medyo I need to dump frequently using this cup. If I'm not mistaken, far as I can remember when I use this, I had to dump every three to four hours. So medyo hassle siya for me. While the Lily Cup Classic it is long and the base of the cup is firm it has also this uh, spine na design niya madali siya mag pop open i used a um, punch down fold for this cup and i find it easy to you know open inside i also find it easy to break the seal by the way it has a strong suction because it has no air holes in it and I love the firmness. It's in the average firm side. So it's really comfortable to wear for me. And uh, I find it easy to remove because I can reach the cup easily. Dahil nga long yung body niya. And yung design niya na to na parang leak proof. Kasi hindi siya talaga messy. I like it. It's really good. Kasi talagang. As you remove the cup, hindi siya talaga tatapon akad or alam mo yun, mag spill. The only thing that I find a little challenging for this cup is yung paglinis niya. Since meron nga siyang ganitong design inside, you really need to make sure na malinisan siya. At uh, yun, walang may iwan na kahit ano residue ng soap or ng blood before storing it. So, if I'm gonna rate these cups from 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, I'm gonna give the Lily Cup Compact um, a 7 out of 10. And I'll give the Lily Cup Classic a 10 over 10 because I love it. Yeah, so between the two, obviously, ito yung mas prefer ko. Pero if you'll ask me if I'm gonna use this still, yes, I would still use it. Siguro during my, you know, lighter days. Pero mas okay kasi yung capacity nito for me. Ease of comfort overall. This one I like better. So yeah, thank you Intimina. Another thing to like about Intimina that you might also want to consider is that they're the first and only accredited brand to offer menstrual cups in stores. So if you're thinking of switching from pads to menstrual cups but you want to see it for yourself first at maharili kayo this is nasabi kong quality niya, kung gano'n siya kaganda and all or you're undecided which one to get you may visit selected Mercury Trucks outlet within the metro para mag-purchase ng menstrual cups, ng Intimina and uh, yeah, you might want to visit their Facebook page, Intimina Philippines, so you can check the list of Mercury Drugs Outlet kung saan niya siya pwedeng mabili. By the way, this video is not sponsored. I purchased this cup using my own money. Pero Intimina, baka naman. <laughs> Ayun, so yeah, you might want to check them out. Or you can just purchase this sa Shopee, sa page nila online, para you can just have it delivered to you for your convenience and for your safety na din. And that's all that I can share about Intimina Lily Cups. Ano pang hinihintay mo, girl? Go. Buy na. Switch na to menstrual cups. And that will be the best decision that you'll ever make in your life because it is life-changing. Trust me on that. <laughs> it may be a little pricey kasi nga parang 1600 for just a single cup. But if you're gonna think about it, the return of investment is definitely way, way better than you purchasing sanitary pads month over month over month. Tapos, I mean, it's safe for you. You can also save and help the environment. You will not be contributing more waste every month. Tapos, yun yeah, You'll get to experience a plastic-free period and... Sulit talaga siya. But like what I usually say, there are things that you should consider before purchasing a menstrual cup. You have to check on your cervix height first. 
consider your lifestyle, your flow, and your sensitivity. You may check my other videos about measuring your cervix height, things that you need to know about, about menstrual cups para alam mo yun, alam mo if it will work for you. Because what works for me might not work for you, so you better explore your body and check your options. And yeah, get to know more about menstrual cups, what's in it for you, and everything else that you need to know. Okay? And that's all I have for you today. I hope that you like this video, you find this helpful and interesting. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell to get you notified whenever I upload a new video here. If you have any questions, just comment down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. But if you have any suggestions, recommendations, or if you wish to send me period products or any eco-friendly stuff that you want me to try on, you want me to promote, or you want me to review, you may get in touch with me by following my socials. Please send me a message. Let's be friends. And don't forget that reusable products are good for you, good for the environment, and good for your pocket. And it's never too late to make the switch. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in my next vlog. Bye!